Here we go. This is where we get to the very end of the line. Fight. Who will do it? And of course, Teddy is the referee. Of course, I wonder how... You know, Randy, I, I had this great thing going. I was ready to build up the tension, and then Teddy Neverland just shows his creepy, dumb, latex, suffocation-loving face. And they start out strong. This combination by Gunnar McCormick. You know, Gunnar, just from the looks of him and how they've performed, Gunnar has that punching power. He's got that knockout power. But Dick Mussolini is crafty. He is sly. He is sneaky in his power and his ability. He uses that clinch very well. You can see his control in the neck of Dick Moose, of, of uh, Gunnar McCormick. Randy, these are the two. These are the cream of the top cock. Ew. Yeah, he could have well, some better wording there. I... Sounded better in my head. The cream of the cock? No, that's even worse. Just forget that happened. I'll try um, to, but it was kind of traumatic. I'm sorry. Don't Randy. worry. I'm sorry. I know how we can remedy this. Let's tell Teddy Neverland stories. Uh, you know, there was this one. I, it's actually funny. About uh, two weeks, it only happened two weeks ago. That uh, Teddy Neverland, uh, he, he, he said, Hey, hey Leighton, I, I, I can't do the impression. Yeah. Hey, Leighton, you ever see that movie Pulp Fiction? I was like, yeah, it's a great movie. It's a fantastic film. And uh, he's like, well, there's a scene that I really liked. And so I uh, went down to a uh, local uh, gun store over at Tupelo. And uh, I, uh, I openly sodomized the guy in their back room. And he, 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 he did this. And he, he did that. And, and then he... I, he's like I, I. He made sure that there were no katanas because he saw how that scene ended. So he did his research to make sure that he could just commit violent sodomy in a gun store. I mean, this guy is a real jerk. And Gunnar McCormick strikes Whoa. first with an uppercut. And Dick Mussolini is going to have to circle away from that cage. 15 seconds to go in the first round. He's a real jerk. And he is Dick. Teddy Neverland and Dick Mussolini has been a bit of the bad guy in the house the entire time of the season. But the show has aptly, aptly named Ben a Dick. Ben a Dick. That's, that's how you say it. Uh, yeah, well, he's the host of the daytime talk show Dick. And uh, you gotta wonder how that's gonna be. Uh, if he if he turns this into a mixed martial nah, nah, nah. career, how is that gonna affect nah, the nah, nah. Uh, the Wait, show? You're not saying it right. Dick. 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 Come on, everybody! If you're listening and watching at home, Enjoy say it. it with us. Dick. Ready? Dick. It's all written in cursive and like neon yeah, there's red. Yeah, exclamation point at on like a on like a purpley background. It's very it's very. Can you hear me? He took over where Richard Bay left off. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? And here we go, round two. Fight! And there we go. Dick Mussolini comes out strong. Oh, but Gunner, big overhand following up with the uppercut. Very smart using the hook. To, to get him to block wide, opening up the guard, and oh, Dick Mussolini drops into the guard and strikes on the way down. But McCormick, well, they're just rolling around on the mat. Teddy Neverland's excited by this. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. This is the second round. One minute in, Mussolini trying to wear down Gunnar McCormick, who has had to retire from professional football. Uh, due to severe concussions and uh, so he decided to try mixed martial arts as a career <laughs> and um, you know he has shown no ill signs so far he's gotten gotten this far already but, oh he gets mount immediately an 
Oh, big oh. right hand, a uh, left hand, excuse me. Goes for an arm bar. Interesting strategy. Gunner not known for his submissions. Trying to tap out Dick. Come on, he's got a big stranglehold on that Dick. He is, he is looking to pull on that Dick arm. And Mussolini able to slither his way out. Gets the, gets the back of Gunner. I think Gunner uh, committed himself too much. He was too committed to Dick at that, at that moment. And Mussolini able to get his way out. I think the ground game benefits Mussolini in this one. And he moves into the half guard. And Gunner's going to try to sit up. Yep, he's going to use the cage to sit up. Try to stand this up. But if I'm Mussolini, you got to expect to keep him up against that cage. Keep close quarter combat. It's his ben it, it benefits Mussolini in this one. A minute 15 to go. And go for that. So you can throw some knees. Oh, nice elbow from the top. That's going to have to cut. Going to McCormick. going to see if that cut him. I don't see any blood, so maybe not. Well, the elbows, no, no. one of the most deadly weapons in mixed martial now, arts. Now, there was an episode where he threw a, a Bose sound systems at the crowd, throwing bows. It's, oh, one of his, uh, one of his yes. talk shows. Was he, like, giving them yeah. away and just screaming, you get a stereo system and you get a stereo system, except they were just throwing them at him and, and countless people in the audience Yeah, and it was, like, 1998, so they were heavy then. Yeah, they're big. I mean, Bose sound systems are pretty massive things. And they're pointy, they're square and cornered. The sharp corners, I mean, aside the, the fact that you're bludgeoning people with stories. Yeah, you fuck some people right up hand. with them. Hook right hand, jab right hand. Yeah. I want fours and fives with the punches. And uh, that somehow, right again, won back. him a Cable Ace Award. I'm shrugging, I don't know how. He did it, though. Throw, throw stereos at audience members. Win a Cable Ace Award. Should be a meme. Must have been a slow year for talk shows that year. Well, huh. Springer did his episode about uh, my wife is a pile of actual elephant poop. Pieces? Gotcha. Molded to look like a woman. It's kind of a wordy episode. I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting some info from my researcher. Oh, okay. That was the year of the Magic Johnson talk show. That, oh. that explains why. Okay. That, that yeah. explains everything. That would do Man, it. That round three, Wait. final round. Topcock Season 2 Championship is on the line in a four-figure HCL contract. Mussolini starts out by rocking back Gunnar McCormick with a right hand. And you gotta wonder how cautious they're gonna be. Are they gonna go all out or are they gonna try to play it safe and not take any risks? Randy, what is the best strategy right now? Punching. That's why I ask you, Randy, because there's no one else sitting next to me. When I asked Jetterman, he just shrugs and says I'm the producer I can't I can't I don't have a microphone I don't ask gentlemen anymore yeah, that's, that's what that's why oh and an uh -oh. uppercut oh but Moose Lady oh that one got him look the hook got him is this it Teddy has ejaculated uh. Teddy has ejaculated uh. and Gunnar McCormick is your top cop champion uh, there's the stain he did come himself Good for Gunner, but ugh. Well, Teddy called an end to this fight after Gunner finished off Dick. And I gotta tell you, you're gonna go to all the MMA websites tomorrow morning. Bodog fights. And you're gonna see a big headline saying Gunner Ladies beats and Dick. Referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute. And let's hear it. Seconds let's hear it. Round, declaring the winner by TKO, the Pit Bull. Gunner McCormick, Topcock champion, no concussions well, will stop well, him. Well, they, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of punching and knockouts. And